Charges have been dropped against the Harlem bodega worker who says he was defending himself when he stabbed and killed a man who'd attacked him behind the counter. CBS 2's Dave Carnan live in Washington Heights with reaction, pardon, Hamilton Heights with reaction. Dave. Dana, the charge dropped, and for Jose Alba, that means the monitoring device around his ankle gets taken off sometime tonight as the criminal case against him comes to a close. This video made headlines far and wide. 60 year old bodega clerk Jose Alba stabbed to death 35 year old Austin Simon. A turnaround Tuesday from the Manhattan District Attorney's Office, which determined it could not prove murder beyond a reasonable doubt and factored in a justified use of deadly physical force. Mayor Eric Adams had this reaction. I think in this case, we had an innocent, hardworking New Yorker that was doing his job and someone was extremely aggressive towards him. And I believe that after the DA's uh, review, the DA, in my opinion, made the right decision. My cousin was a father. My cousin had people who loved him. He has family. Kendra Simon spoke to CBS2 about her relative. Austin Simon entered the bodega July 1st at 11 p.m. Agitated because his girlfriend's payment on a credit card for a bag of chips was declined. Simon went around the counter. Alba grabbed a knife and stabbed and killed Simon. Alba showed CBS to his injuries, but not his face, as his daughter translated his words. He was put in a position where, you know, he, he couldn't tell how, how it was going to end. He was just defending his life. And he's going to walk for that and go back into the community like nothing happened. I think that that's a very dangerous precedent. He took a man's life who did not have a weapon drawn. There was a um, clear case of self-defense. It was all on video. And to charge someone with murder, the most serious crime in our country, a bodega worker, is just inexcusable. Schwartz went on to say it was illogical and cruel to send Alba to Rikers Island prison, that it never should have happened. But the family of Simon is saying what also never should have happened is the death of their loved one. Live in Hamilton Heights, Dave Carlin, CBS 2 News.